Outdoor recreation was the topic of a federal hearing in Washington on Tuesday. That outdoor recreation generates almost $900 billion. Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa brought Hawaii's perspective to bear to the House Committee on Natural Resources Federal Land Subcommittee hearing on H.R. 3400. Member from Hawaii with two national parks ranking in the top 50 annually in terms of recreational visits. I understand very well the economic power of our parks and recreation industry. In Hawaii, outdoor recreation is an integral part of our state economy, and it touches the lives of tourists and locals alike. From the world's most accessible active volcano on the Big Island, Kilauea, to the state-of-the-art telescopes on top of Mauna Kea and Haleakala, to Pearl Harbor, where millions pay respects at the Arizona Memorial and visit the USS Missouri, outdoor recreational opportunities which exist in each of our states enrich our lives and the lives of others in ways we never forget. The proposed Recreation Not Red Tape Act aims to promote innovative approaches to outdoor recreation on federal land and to open up opportunities for collaboration with non-federal partners. They also enrich our state economies. The truth is our federal lands serve as the foundation for all kinds of outdoor activities in each of our states. The Bureau of Land Management and the Forest Service hosts millions of annual recreation visitors and process thousands of permits to authorize all kinds of special events and other commercial activities. Many small businesses rely on dependable access to federal lands, so it is important that Congress identify opportunities to improve visitor services and the overall administration of recreation on federal lands. It is important that we do this in a way that does not conflict with other priorities or create impossible mandates for federal land managers. In addition to pointing out the tremendous economic contribution of outdoor recreation, the bill recognizes the need to provide adequate staffing within federal land management to facilitate sustainable and accessible outdoor recreation this is a sentiment that we should all embrace. When it comes to land management goals, whether it be increasing access for outdoor recreation, enhancing permitting for oil and gas development, or prioritizing the recovery of endangered species, adequate funding for agencies like the BLM and Forest Service is just as important as providing new authorities and directions from Congress. We can't continue shrinking agency budgets and expect, expect them to produce better and more consistent outcomes. So I'm glad to see that this bill recognizes the importance of adequate staffing levels. For example, this bill established a national recreation area system for BLM and Forest Service managed units and requires the two agencies to identify areas with remarkable recreation values during their routine land planning process. As we will hear today from our witnesses, this bill is likely supported by the recreation community and has the potential to multiply opportunities for recreation on federal lands. Again, like any other long-term goal for the federal government, it will be difficult to implement without fully functioning agencies. H.R. 3400 contains a lot of great ideas, and I hope we can work together and throw this bill into a bipartisan victory. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.